Let's construct a frequency distribution and histogram in Excel for these data based on these class intervals. I'll begin by creating bins for the frequencies. Excel uses the upper limits for bins, so I can type 5 here and then 10, select both and drag down to 40. For the frequencies, we use equals frequency. I'm going to click on the B column to select the entire data. Comma, then select the bins. Enter. Excel automatically computes the frequencies for all the bins. However, it also creates a frequency for an additional class to cover the possibility that there might be values greater than the last upper limit listed. Let's remove the extra frequency by selecting all bins except the last one. And that's the frequency distribution. Note that the upper limits are included in each bin or interval. The first bin consists of values less or equal to the upper limit, and the last frequency represents values greater than the previous upper limit. Now to construct the histogram, select the bins and frequencies. Click the Insert tab. Click Recommended Charts. Select this column chart option and click OK. To remove the spaces between the bars, right-click somewhere in the chart and click Format Data Series. Type 0 in the gap width box or drag the slider down to 0. To create borders for the chart, right-click on one of them, click Outline and select a color of your choice. Now suppose we want to change the labels on the horizontal axis to something else like these intervals listed here. Right click anywhere on the chart and click Select Data. Under Horizontal Labels, click Edit. Select the axis labels you want. Click OK and click OK. The horizontal axis now has the new labels. I'm going to click on the title here and type Histogram. I'll click on the plus button to the right of the chart here. Axis Titles, select Primary Vertical, and I'll type Frequency there. The distribution is negatively skewed since values with higher frequencies are to the right while there is a long tail to the left. Now suppose we decide to go against convention and create unequal bins or unequal interval widths. For example, suppose we make this interval go from 30 up to 33 so that the last interval is 33 up to 40. Then as we change this bin to 33, the frequency updates and the histogram adjusts accordingly. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.